not notice hey. height. So this is basically saying we're we're basically we're talking about the n and we're saying above it. So above the n, we have a something that is in the role of being sorry, above the cafeteria. <laughs> Keep on saying that. So we got the cafeteria. Above it is acting as an in, right? So in other words, this is like a uh, in like the kind in like uh isekai, right? Like like the like the guy, the guild, <laughs> you know, get, get your food and then there's an in upstairs. So the inn that is on top of the dining hall, the fireplace burning, uh, there was no one there except for the owner. Yes. So this right here is just describing the cafeteria. So it's saying the cafeteria for which the top of it serves as an inn. This cafeteria does not have anybody inside of it except for the owner and also the fire that's blazing in the fireplace. I... I got, I got um, distracted by the yado ya, and I forgot that the subject here is the shakudo. So so. Yeah, the the wa here is kind of here because of the fact that um, they're wanting to be specific by saying inside of the dining area, not inside of the yado ya, is why that was in there. Because actually, should be because if it just said shokudo ni. That would also be grammatically correct. That just would be in the in because ni is a, is the location for our iru. So wa is just making this into like the topic. So for the diner, which happens to have an in on top, it is no one in here. No one inside except for the owner. Hi. So we learned... um. Tayoru last time, where the old man Tayoru's on his tue, he relies on his tue. Tanomu has the same kanji, but different reading, means to request something of somebody. Tanomu. So, yeah. Hi. Confusingly similar, especially with the kanji. Um, Do you have any idea how this might be read? Yumeshi. Hi. You, uh, that's a good guess. This is actually pronounced as shoku. Yumeshi is a word shoku. we saw in here, yumeshi, but it actually has a slightly different kanji. We have the gohan, han no kanji right here. So this is yumeshi. This is yushoku. Basically the same thing. Yushoku is like a meal. Yumeshi is also evening meal. Um, Can you read this Hai. sentence for me? Yushoku o tanomu. What is that? I request a Hai. meal... Yes, I request a meal. Perfect. Um, do you know how this kanji is read? Tatsu. Tatsu, hi. Um, do you know what unazuku meant? Last time you forgot. This is our third time seeing this Una. word. Well, theoretically <laughs> fourth, but the charm. theoretically it's the fourth because one time <laughs> it had two in, in the same line. Uh, the, the hara was like, unazuke! Unazuke. <laughs> Okay, it's unazoku. Zuku is to nod. Yes. So what does the sentence say? So, well, is it, ah, uh, this, this is a, an intransitive. So the owner nodded. Yes, the owner nods or will nod. Nice. So this word right here, can you read it for me? Hateru. Hi, tateru. Tateru has a couple meanings. In our context, it means to put up. For example, to lift up your fingers. And this is a do verb, tateru. Um, so if I was going to say I was going to put up a staff, um, what particle do we think we'd put here? Tsunao tateru. Hi, o. Perfect. Do you know this word? To point. Close. It does show up no, in the word to this... point. That would be um this kanji plus sasu. I mean sasu. Or would just Maybe be sasu. sasu. Both of these mean to point. So this is Yubi. 
Hi. This is UB. Do you know what UB means? A finger. Yeah. UB is finger. Nice. So right over here, I threw a Nihon in here. Um, I decided not to teach you counters because uh, it wouldn't really stick with you. But Hon is for long objects. And want to know something that's long? Yubi. Yubis are long. And you know what the kanji for ni is? What number is this? It's two. Yeah, so two long cylinder objects. And this tends to be how also um, counters are added in Japanese. It tends to be the item plus particle, the counter, and then the verb. So the counter and the verb like to touch each other. That's when you'll most often see counters. They, they, they're they like, please, let us be friends. But anyway, what part of the thing would go in here to say, I put up two I put up two fingers. I had put it up. I put up two fingers. Yubio, Nihon Tata, Tata. Hi. So I look at the Danro Ni and Danro De. Danro De is more normal. So I'm guessing it's using it very special in the previous sentence with the Danro Ni. So I'll do more research on that, I guess, to see what is that strange, special occasion. Probably has to do with the context. Hi. Um and tubo is kitchen like daidokoro kitchen. Tubo. Tubo is kitchen. Hi. Mm. Can you read this for me? Tubo no ho ni araita. Aru. Aruita. Aruita. What is it saying? Meaning, um, walk towards the direction of the kitchen. Perfect. Tubo. Hi. Do you know this kanji? Hiku. Hi. Perfect. Hiku to pool. So, hikikomu is a little bit of a metaphor with pulling into. The idea is that you're pulling yourself into something with hikikomu, um, such as, for example, the hikikomu into the shadows is very common. It means like you pull back into the shadows, you kind of withdraw into it. So it, in a way, you can think about it as to withdraw from the public view, um, Hi. to sink into. Uh, over here, it just means somebody is leaving, basically, hikikomu. Uh, so what particle do you think we'd use if we're saying we're uh, withdrawing into the kitchen? Into the kitchen? Hi. Two bowl ni. Yep. And how do you read this Hiki word? Hikikonda. Perfect. Yep, I was pulled into the kitchen. Do you remember what miseru meant? Menomai no mono keshite miseru koto ga koto datte dekiru. To try to disappear. Close. So that would be slightly different. Um, What would be trying me? I think that would be right? Uh, miseru is, comes from to show. So it means to show, to show someone the verb. To show someone the verb. So it means to do the verb in front of someone's eyes. So miseru is to show something. Like, watch me! And... <sighs> This is one you mistake last time. How does this guy pronounce? You shoku. Perfect. Nice. So let's go read our line from the book. You shoku o kanomu machutsushi no neburi ga yubi o nihon tatete miseru to. Why do you think Niseru is in here right here? Nobody got Yubi no Nihon Tatete Miseru. What do you think this is telling us? It's Miseru. I put up two fingers to show. Yep. I show two fingers. So nobody is the subject. 
So nobody is actually doing this. Nobody puts up two fingers to show. Contextually, he's showing this to the shujin. He's showing the shujin, yumeshi o tanomu, and then he shows him two fingers. So he's actually ordering I... two dinners right now. Or saying there's two people I... in here. It's one of those two, like, two people. I'm relying on you for dinner. Um, I... Then we have this toll right here, which is telling us what? And. Yeah, and what kind of and? He do he put up the two fingers and he nodded right afterward. It's the right afterwards. The one doing the nodding is somebody right. else though. Who's nodding? Oh, right afterward the owner nodded. Yes. And then what did the owner do next? And then the owner, uh, pull re he, withdrew into the kitchen. Exactly. And we have ten here because he nods so that he can he he basically he conveyed I understand and then he goes in the kitchen without talking. So these these actions are connected because if he just walked into the kitchen, that's a little bit weird. You just like didn't acknowledge. You <laughs> hi. Um, hi. So right after he says two meals, please, the guy hi. walks in. Hi. So toll basically allows us to have two subjects. So that's one of the things with toll. The nobody does something and then someone else does something. Te does not allow for two subjects. So that, that's an important thing to note. The subject should be used the same if you're using te. Um, Hi. Okay. So this right here is my sentence showing the difference between mukeru and mukao. Um, can you read the above sentence for me? Hi. Mujutsu shi wa shokudou ni kao o mukeru. Hi. What does that mean? It mean the magician turns toward the shokudo, the dining. Yes, specifically hall. his face turns his face toward the dining hall. Hi. And the one below has basically the same verb, pronounced a little bit differently without the o, and it still means the magician turns toward the dining hall. The only real difference is that this one's being a little bit obnoxiously specifying what he's turning. He turns his head versus turning toward. Um, this worked last time because the character wanted to specify the head was facing the the um, diner, but he was glancing behind him at Khan. So that's why this one was used versus this guy. Because you could be have your this right here is mostly like the direction you're going normally, Mukao, though it can be like the direction you face in general. So it's a little bit. You could you could turn sideways as walking with Mukeru if you wanted to. Um, Hi. Do you know I this like country? this example. Hi. <laughs> yes. Um, it's a wall. It is a wall. What's wall in Japanese? Ka yes. Kabi. Close. Kabe. Kabe. Nice. Um, what's the mass form of Mukao? It's an u verb. Hi. Imas. Hi. Kaimas. Hi. Perfect. Kaimas. So, what particle do you think we go here for saying turning toward the door? Um, kabe. Turning towards the door. Ukau. Kabe ni mukaimasu. Hi, perfect. Kabe ni mukaimasu. Nice. Do you know what sumi means? Sumi. It's a place. Hi. Uh, sumi um, means corner. Corner. Sumi, corner. Sumi. Sumi. Can you read this for me? Sumi no table ni mukau. Hi. Turning uh, towards the the table at the corner. Yes, table at the corner. Perfect. So if it said table no sumi, that would refer to the sumi on the table, the corner of the table versus the table in the corner. So yeah, perfect. Hi. Awesome. So kata ni suru. 
means to face your back towards something. So to decide back is what it literally is, but it means you face your back towards something. Um, so if I'm going to say facing my back toward the wall, what particle do you think we'd use? My back to the wall. Suru is to do. So kabe o. Kabe o. Yep. Kabe o suru. Perfect. Retain your back to the wall. Nice. Um, what does suwaru mean? Suwaru, to sit down. Yes, suwaru, to sit. Um, I'm going to skip that. Okay, causative form. I think this is our first time seeing causative form. If not, it's been a little bit. Causative is when you force somebody to do something. So with u verbs, you get that u, you kill it, and you add aseru. So modoru turns into modo daseru. What does suwaru turn into? This is an u verb still? Hi. Hi. So it's suware, suwaraseru. Hi, suwaraseru. So that is to make somebody sit or to allow someone to sit. Um. So if I said ore ni suwaraseta, what does that mean? Ore ni suwaraseta. Um. <laughs> so in this sentence but i was am, allowed yes to sit i was allowed to sit or i was made to sit so ni is the one doing the swaduing um and wa would be attached to the person who made them do it so here is our last line of the day can you read it for me um, neburi wa sumi no teburu ni mukai ore o kabe o um, kata ni shite suwa, suware suwara seta. Hi. So right here we have two o particles. Which one goes to which verb? Each verb takes one um, particle. I'll make you A, and you'll be B, and you'll be C, and you'll be D. Which particle goes to which verb? Which particle goes to which verb? Right. Uh, ore o is the direct object of the kata ni shite. So I turn my, my back. back to myself. Oreo kataniste? No. I set myself down. So I am Oreo tech. Yes. I was allowed to. Hi. I was allowed to sit. Hi. And then D takes katanisite shite. Hi. My back yeah. turns to the wall. Yes. So nobody basically made me sit with my back toward the wall. Um, which table did they sit at? The corner, sumino. Hi. Teburu ni mukai. So facing the corner table, nobody made me go sit over here. And obviously nobody's going to sit over here. So they went this Hi. way basically, and then they made him sit. Hi. Nice. And that is where we're going to stop, but I'm going to make you do a kanji check. What's this guy? Uh, you, you shoku. Perfect. And this guy? You bio. Hi. And that guy? Danro. Hi. And our last one. Actually, that'll be the end. Sounds good. So that is where we're going to end for the day. Any questions before we go?